that rapper is going, he's going to come and his story, he's going to tell his story. And it's going to be the same way when Jay told his story or the same way when X told his story. And to me, I applaud it being where it is. People sounding different, being different. We have to be more pal have our palates open to what it is because I, I, I truly believe there was a time where they didn't know Jay in Japan and didn't know him in Germany. And Jay didn't want to go to none of those places. And then when he saw the world in a way, um, he became that ambassador of culture. And I think that we have to accept um, other people if we want hip hop to continue to grow in the way it was because they did accept us. Uh, and we have to accept them because we, we all, you go to China, you go to, to Germany, there's a young kid, you might not understand what the fuck he's saying, but he's just like me. Yeah. Just, just like, still doing his shit, doing it, and we gotta accept that for our, for our culture if we want to continue to grow. And we have to, um, this gonna sound crazy. Um, <laughs> our forefathers, wore enough chains around their neck that we really need to take that money and invest it in a different way. Um, and, and some people say, Kev, yeah, but, but you know, you used to. I say, yeah, I know I used to. But the power we had, we didn't have that power then. I, 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 we were forming our identity by what we had on it then. Now with CEOs, presidents, multi, hundreds of men. Y'all done seen Tyler Perry shit? Wow. Yeah. So all, all I'm saying is that he was homeless, living in his car, can give you the whole story with all these, and look at what we're doing now. Right. If we keep doing what we're doing, there needs to be 10 Tyler Perry's. Wow. Yeah. 10 Oprah's, 10 Hoves, you know what I mean? 10 me, whatever, whatever you guys, but the time is now. And so we have to, you know, we talk about five years from now, talk about fucking tomorrow. Hey. Talk about what you're going to do different tomorrow to change the narrative. Change the, and, and we have the capability to do it. And that's why we're number one, the time is now. Everybody looking at us. But they're not only looking at us for what we're doing, they're waiting for us to fuck up. Mm. They're waiting for a reason to say, see, that's what they do. They can't handle this, they can't do that. And so challenge yourself to, to today to, to just you know, think about, before you go do something stupid, think about the lives that you're affecting you know, if you do it. Press it up, touch now, can't stop with us. Little bit step it up. Wait, she can't rap with us. Still niggas ain't getting no check with us. Okay, Steve, you don't wanna clash with us. Kobe, girl, pounce that ass for us. Okay, thick girl, turn something, pack it up. Club booty crew. Us. Okay, steal it, bit when it stack it up. Okay, juke with it, stuck with it, back it up. Okay, hit him with the stick, no lacking, bro. I say hit him with the stick, we ain't lacking, bro. Go up, 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 go up
presumably we got a group of teens here that are interested in music in some capacity. Today we've got some special guests. Yeah. We got Chop Open here. Um, and they're going to be in the production room because they're like a multimedia type company, songwriter producer combination. And so they're going to be talking about more technical aspects of songwriting and manipulating noise in order to invoke certain emotions. Which is what music is. Okay. <laughs> okay, my name is Brown. I am back there. I'm Brenda. Brenda, he's our film guy. We own, we own a company called Shop Open. So as you guys probably know, in music today, independence is probably the new wave. That's that's what it is. You know, nobody's really going for labels anymore. And if they do go to labels, you know, you have to take your risk and you pretty much have to build yourself up from the ground up. That's what we do at Shop Open. We develop. Um, we shoot videos. We write songs, we produce content, and we market ourselves. So our whole plight is independence, all right? And that's kind of what I want to talk about. Hello, everyone. I'm Bree. Hi, Bree. I, uh, I'm an engineer. I also write. Um, this is a really cool thing. I like how you guys all want to do different things and not just kind of stuck. Or not stuck, but just honed in on one. Um, does anyone have any questions about anything? Mm, how do you... Okay, so you know how you have beat production, right? Mm -hmm. How do you get your name like out there? Like you know how most of the beat producers like Zayton, yeah. like Pierre Alden, or no? Like how do you get to that? Because it's kind of hard, depending on what state you're from and the people yeah. you know and the people that you don't know. Yeah. Especially if you started from ground up. So. What I've seen work the most is just. Basically what I did with this guy, like I just started engineering for him when I just started out, didn't know anything about anything. He was patient because it was free. Um, <laughs> and you just build with those who you believe in, like you do lateral networking. That way you both get to that level together. Because honestly, if you try to go like to the Zayto and be like, hey man, I made this, it's like there's a good chance you're not going to pay attention. Not because you're not talented, it's just it's a lot of noise right it's now. Zayto. <laughs> and then, uh, be everywhere. You said something very important based on like where you come from. So yeah. I come from a very small city in Florida, all right? And my whole plight has been that I have to literally probably do 10 times the work that the average artist because of where I'm from. The way that you break into any um, field of anything, whether you want to be a basketball player, game designer, so forth, consistency. Do it every day. That's a lot now, of people say. With your name, you want to get recognized for what you're trying to do. Let me ask you a question. What's your Instagram? <laughs> well, k.y.sleek. All right, what's your Twitter name? Sleek um, 770. What's your name on TikTok? <laughs> you got a trailer? Yeah. What's your name on there? Thousand Band by Trey. All right, so I'm going to tell you the first mistake that you make. I don't have all platforms. All of your names are different on each one of your platforms. So how am I supposed to remember you? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, when you go home tonight, I'm trying to stay away from dots and numbers and so forth. How you pick your name is everything. My name is Crown. It's easy to remember. Let's see. Crown. It flows as soon as you say it. You don't want a name that people have to think a lot about. And this goes for you with your gaming, and this goes for you and you with entrepreneurship. Everything that you're trying to build, you want to have a name that rolls off the tongue and it's easy to remember. You see what I'm saying? You know how you remember Zaytoven? Because it reminds you of Beethoven. It's familiar, you see? It's one word, it's no numbers, it's no extra, it's just right there in your face. So what we're talking about now is branding and marketing. The first key to making your name a household name is marketing. Alright? So you have to have, so on your Instagram, I'm going to give you homework now. When you go home tonight, make sure your Twitter name, your Instagram name, your Triller name, get your TikTok, get everything that you need, make sure it's all the same name. So therefore, if I want to look at you on Instagram and I see you join, I'm like, man, I wonder what you're typing today. I can go to Twitter and just type the same thing in and you pop right up. That's how you build your following. Then you do what she said. Find people that you like. You got a room full of musicians here. You got a bunch of people here to play your beats for and practice with. 
And guess what? Everyone in this room has friends outside of this room. So if you make a dope song with him, he's going to go to his friends and be like, man, listen to what I just did. And when they're doing that, he's going to say, man, who made the beat? Man, he made the beat. And you're going to, vice versa, you'll do the same thing. You're going to go to your hood, and now you got kids from his neighborhood and kids from your neighborhood, and all of y'all are playing, and now it's booming. Before you know it, two years from now, you pop. <laughs> and me, I feel like when I do, as an artist, trying to find somebody to do visuals, like a cameraman or something like that. At first, I had one that shot my four music videos, but now I have nobody. So how did you find yours and that was consistent with you? Um, <laughs> well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I didn't find mine. Mine was actually my friend for life. Like, this is my best friend since sixth grade. So we were about okay. your mm -hmm. age when we started kicking it. And the thing was, we didn't have access to this. We were in band. Mm -hmm. So I played saxophone. He played trumpet. He was drum major. I was sergeant. Mm -hmm. um, and realistically, at that time, we had no clue this is what <laughs> we would be doing today. Um, years later, we linked up, and he just had happened to learn something about graphics. I was doing music, and it just came together. Just came, yeah. So what I say to you is this. Look to the people left and right. Sometimes it's about just inspiration. Sometimes you can be so dope at what you do that the person next to you can get the confidence to say, hey, let me step in and help you. And you got to be open enough to say, hey, okay, you may not be the best at it, I may not be the best at what I'm doing, but we can build together. And that's just what it is. While I was developing, he was developing. And find the people from those levels and keep pushing, you see what I'm saying? We all our own networks. Um, like if you, you go, you might think you're in church if you look at my Instagram. You know what I mean? You might feel like you're being inspired. You look at somebody else's Instagram, you feel like you're at the club or... It's, but that's the same way as Lifetime Channel, CBS, BET, right? We all are networks. Do whatever works for you. Um, but I believe if you do post something, say something. And I, 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 do, it, I do it not to get like... I, I told him I sounded old. I, I don't... I don't really do what I do to get likes. It's really how I feel at that moment in my life. And I know God is saying share that with somebody else. So whatever your network is and whatever your, that feeds that, you know, serve that. Logo art, whatever, album art, just give me up. I'm blessed, I'm smoking the goddamn prayer.
pressure Applying the goddamn pressure I'm fucking the goddamn street So they came on the goddamn stretch And ain't nothing goddamn sweet Bro, she think that I'm goddamn special But call her that tall list to eat Bro, don't give me no goddamn legs Big dog shit Roll the dice like I'm Sam Ross Stay caught a plate in the tray Hit again, they can play tops and get it in <laughs> Somehow I bought the shit together. Hold us up to play. We just went and got the shit together. Pop the shit forever. Yo, pop the shit forever. Shop always over. You can come shop with us forever. It's already over. Too late, I've been plotting this forever. I did what I told you, I did what I said. It took a whole lot to read the blessing. I feel like you woke us and hear what it is. I wish you was not, but you can't help it. Ain't even gonna hold you, we did what we did. Did a whole lot, but we finessed it. Big dog shit. gift and passion is to give to those who didn't have it. And each one of these guys have that same passion in their respective fields. He is a finance guy. His goal is to help build our communities by teaching financial literacy. That plays a part of my music because that's what I rap about, financial literacy. He's a DJ. His goal, he got kids, he's a family man. His goal is to feed his family and also provide good vibes. She's a woman in an industry that's thriving full of women and black women and number one entrepreneurs are fast and growing a group of entrepreneurs in America, so it's only right that we have her. And she records all my music because women feel music differently. Hmm. Say this again. Women mm. feel music oh. differently. Mm. Okay. What you did when that Barry White came? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this guy here captures the moment. He uses the camera to speak. So when I'm speaking, if I'm not speaking for him, he's speaking for himself with his hands and that piece of device is in his hand. Only that, you or everyone that has one? Um, I speak for the entire circle when I need to. Okay. And then when they can speak for themselves, they can speak for all of us. Like, sometimes he speaks for all of us. Sometimes he speaks for all of us. This guy's a lawyer. This black lawyer comes from Florida to go and master law in New York. Yeah. I'm so, so sorry. Of course, friends. Yeah. Of course, friends are in Broward County. Kiss and me. Hey. Hey. Daytona hey. yeah. Beach. Paul Fonda in Daytona. Yep. He's a lawyer, and he's a brand ambassador. He comes from Chicago and he understands street teams. He understands, how to, he understands how to move amongst the people who may not reach us. Maybe we way up here, but he can go find those people out there and find the ones that want to know about the future, want to know about what we're doing, and want to come and the place that they at. And I feel like right now, since black people, I feel like we're on the verge of a revolution. You know, they say 400 years, God promised Abraham that he was going to turn over the land. So I feel like, you know, slavery started 1619. We just ready. So 2020 is game time. I'm going to my book back to get a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got two kids. <laughs> and, uh, you see my book bag. I got my hands. I can't give you. Don't give her no two <laughs> If you with this, you might. And so, we do believe that the, services. the way to amplify our movement is through service. Absolutely. So, if there's anything that any in, in the individual in the group or the group as a collective can serve, you or a friend, a family member, you let us know. So, you need somebody who needs financial advice. Call me. You want. A lawyer, and you want to pass it through them. You need somebody to do a party for you. Yeah, I don't yeah. got them holiday so parties. So whatever you need, you think of us. What party was the party? The holiday parties? Uh, the party does not rest. <laughs> 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 no holiday, no. no. I feel like I got Hospital and jail, because I'm sure things will be open. And hotels. hotels. I used to work in hotels. That's, that's <laughs> where we <laughs> never had a holiday. Oh, Thank you. Somebody oh. understands me. Come again. Boo. Okay. Cut and cut and cut. <laughs> Live. Uh, I'll say believe. You gotta believe in something. Yeah. Um, mine is identity. <laughs> Freedom. Thank you.
Gotta get it. Yeah. Running the business is something different. A lot of intuition and wishing they start switching. A lot of misconceptions and missions, planning, protecting the vision. Open mind perspectives make winners. Lately, I feel no pressure because my presence don't speak. Energy coming off strong for them folk that feel weak. Bitch, I'm bold and unique. And I flow when I speak. And I love me a hood queen that remind me to eat. Live from the beach, bringing back that vibe to the beats. 3 a.m., she seen that. That's when I slide through the streets. I don't really got the time, I'm declining to meet. I'm grinding for real. A lot of niggas lie through their teeth. How does it feel? Sick of those nine to fives, ten to fours, clocking in, staying long. Enterprise, been a goal. I'm in a different mode, really trying to.